Are you really confused in the vast jungle of the knowledge of regarding how to become a web developer? Are you really just getting started and don't know where to get started, which course right to choose and which is which YouTube videos or Udemy courses should you actually choose? Then you have really clicked the right thumbnail. So stay on this channel and I'm really going to show you about uh, what I have chosen about what which courses I have chosen and what was my journey about becoming a web developer and how I really classified the structure into the various categories. So my name is Rahul Aire and I am from Pune. So let's get started. So in this video, we are really going to just discuss about how you can really learn to get started as quickly as possible in the web development career. So essentially what you really need to do is there are bunch of courses out there and you might be really confused about which is the best course for me which uh, which is the right curriculum or what is the pathway of it right so I actually started learning the web development right in the March 2019 and in recently right now in October 2019 I have just uh, finished everything learning up the web development and currently right now I'm really working on my own project of uh, making a face mask site. So in this video we are just going to really uh, dug deep about, about how I learned and what I learned. So let's get started. Let's get to the computer screen. So the first one is kind of really basic. If you really don't know anything of uh, web developments thing this practical guide really 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 helpful a lot this is one of from my favorite youtuber traversy media and it also it it has a really vast bunch of lists that you can really just go on and it has a really each and everything about how you can be a web developer what is it and what is it not uh, which technology is currently trending which is not and which is uh, outdated which one should you really focus on and that kind of stuff uh, here is the really actual vast list that it is vast list of topics that is covered so obviously the essential thing when you really start to learn the web development the three things the basic you really need to learn is HTML CSS and JavaScript so initially what I have really chosen is to uh, the f the playlist of the Traverse Media's uh, HTML and CSS crash course series and and I really see this is the best uh, playlist ever on the YouTube right now. Uh, I don't want to judge any other YouTubers, but this uh, this is kindly the best of all that what I have chose. Uh, if you really go through even few of the series right now, it contains like 44 videos. And even if you cover half of it, then you would really get a hold of really firm grasp over the HTML and CSS. The next thing is like, oh uh, yeah, the David also really makes a bunch of cool, interesting projects uh, based on CSS. And if you really want to go in another uh, Udemy courses, so uh, what I have uh, actually uh, gone through is like, the advanced CSS and SAS uh, Flexbox grid and animation by Jonas Midman. Uh, this course is really pretty huge. It actually covers the uh, three major projects of uh, styling in detail. It covers a really bunch of uh, cool animation, responsive design, layouts. But the only thing I didn't like about it is like the uh, the instructor actually really works pretty much everything in SAS from later structure and it is really subjective thing whether someone likes SAS or not uh, in my case I didn't like SAS that much because uh, I was really having a hard time in understanding it and for me CSS is pretty uh, easily digestible for me so I just kind of uh, finished in halfway and just moved it on further way <clears throat> sorry guys uh, and the next thing is like learning JavaScript. So again, there is a bunch of uh, video out there made by uh, Traversy Media and you could really see this cra uh, crash course, DOM manipulation, uh, 
making a projects and yeah the simple wait converter app with javascript and bootstrap then it's pretty much yeah, yeah and also using the google geocode api so it is pretty a uh, extensive list of tutorial that even if you really go through your javascript concepts will really be much more improved and, and there is also made by hitesh chaudhary um, you can really see that and also the popular one is called net ninja but uh, but the problem was that uh, it's it kind of really goes to the fundamental of the thing if you really want to just uh, go through the project based approach then just go with udemy courses of uh, traversy media of javascript the jonas spidman and the academy but also i didn't really purchase on udemy actually i just went on the other torrent sites and just downloaded it for free um, i know it's really subjective matter and a matter of personal ethics whether you should really pay for something else or you should really download it via torrent uh, later we will also see how you can really download the udemy courses for free via torrent right so if you don't have money you can just go straight away go it so we go through it and it's quite uh, obvious like uh, i personally don't recommend to go with the uh, youtube videos because uh, it's kind of really unstructured and you will uh, initially uh, just first really lost in the exploring everything but the udemy course is really makes uh, really everything really straightforward and one of the best thing that i really like uh, about the best course which i would really like to suggest is of traversy media and jonas bidman of yeah and if you really learn three these three then you would really able to really uh, have a strong fundamental of going through the uh, front end li front end libraries and frameworks like react so we will really just start right now see about which is the best react course so yeah obviously uh, i like this one it's pretty decent you can really finish in within two weeks it's a 14 hours course uh, i really uh, generally like this one it it is uh, not that deep or not that uh, heavy which you really require to uh, months to cover this uh, course and also the thing is like so yeah and this is the thing that the yeah, academy really have made uh, the react complete hooks and guide in the 44 hours this is the 44 hours and this one is just about 14 hours and i really mind you that uh, it does not mean that if the length of tutorial if the length of the course is more the general quality will also be more uh, the problem with i really faced with this course is that uh, the one thing that instructor was really teaching was not matching with what i have really just following up to him so i really need to uh, cut through that step and just follow the latest stuff it also really contained a bunch of cool features like next js uh, reaching to the server side and all that kind of stuff so uh, and the next one is like if you have finished the front end now comes the part of back end uh, the back end really consists of the node express and mongodb so the we'll first say all about node about which is the popular courses out there right and yeah i really purchased this one first of all uh, of again jonas pitman it's about 42 hours and honestly this is really an ex extensive and exhaustive course even uh, i really also felt uh, completely like overwhelmed by this course that it was really uh, huge and all that kind of stuff but the instructor really goes into the depth of it like uh, setting up uh, introduction to the npm uh, introduction to the back end um, introduction to the uh, express mongodb uh, authentication modeling and all that kind of stuff uh, but if you really if you are really like me which really like concise and straight to the point you can really take up this one this again by the traversy media uh, it's 12 hours long which i have really taken out there and 
in this course the instructor Brad Travis he has really made oh, I think one or two projects uh, especially out there but he was really concise and straight to the point not really that ex extensive which you really require to cover which you really really require to devote one month of your time and not that uh, short which really uh, cover in really short time so it's kind of in between uh, but you will really learn a lot of things so either you choose that one or this one or you first finish uh, any one of them and you can really jump to the next one if you really want to uh, firm grasp over it and so yeah and the next one is called Mern stack so what oh yeah I just forgot about uh, telling this something about, about MongoDB uh, there are really a uh, few of other courses on MongoDB out there uh, and especially in UDB, uh, Udemy and YouTube but they are really not that concise uh, but one of the thing that I really liked uh, thing is of Academine, uh, Academine's course of MongoDB the complete web guide about yeah uh, it is really 16 hours plus more than content out there and you really don't need to uh, study enough that kind of thing right it's essentially in early stages if you really learn the CRUD operation about how to create how to read how to update how to create uh, uh, create indexing and all that kind of stuff then you are really good to go and you should not invest much time in studying the much time investing in MongoDB courses because it's essentially uh, you will not really use that much in the following courses out there uh, and the MongoDB documents is the really supreme thing like and once you if you land in the job uh, that video that course is not going to really help you in that much thing uh, because that is not that advanced stuff but it's surely uh, really good enough to get started with it right so and the next thing is like called a Mern stack course now what if really you have finished the front end and the back end now you want to really make a full stack application so this is just a really beautiful course again made by Traversy Media it really covers it really goes into the depth of making of how you can really make a social networking app and essentially deploy it in the Huroku so you should really check this out even though and again yeah and again if you really want it for free uh, I really love this guy from the web dev simplified his name is Kyle Cook and he has really made extensive uh, tutorials on this on, on his channel which is really good enough uh, and and again uh, and again I like to share which of which are my favorite youtubers out there so I really am following this one guy Traversy Media. Uh, this guy is really the oldest and the one of the best uh, tech pro tech programming YouTuber. Uh, it ha he really covers all the topic of web development, especially in the uh, Mern stack, React, Angular, Node.js, Vue, and all that kind of stuff. And the next one is the Web Dev Simplified. Recently, I really discovered about this guy. Is uh, he really does something? really good enough like uh, and his channel is really growing really rapidly enough so and I again like this channel the uh, David uh, his his style is really uh, humorous he has really a comic avatar in his video uh, so if you really like humor and getting entertained then this guy is really perfect for you and he has really bunch of other cool videos out there so you should really check that out and also Academine, he uh, actually really makes the co comparison and of various things about uh, like uh, PHP versus Node.js, which is the best course. What about this? And he also really uh, gives you tips and tricks about how can you better be a tutor, how can you be a better developer. And also the ka and also this one Hitesh Chaudhary, uh, yeah. He also really makes a bunch of cool videos out there uh, talking about the various aspect of our programming uh, he really goes web development uh, and all that kind of stuff 
so uh, if you really want any other to uh, other youtubers out there then this video you should really follow up that traversy media has really made 20 plus developer you should follow and if you really land into trouble <clears throat> what you will really do is just you will use this site called w3 school this is really uh, consider this as a dictionary of all the things that you really require to learn in the web development out there and it contains everything like literally everything about how what is heading tag what is div tag what is uh, this one what is that and uh, this is really a uh, good place to start off if, if you really want to search something yeah. so even small of the small things it has really HTML, CSS, JavaScript, jQuery, Bootstrap and all that kind of stuff and also one of my favorite documentation is Mozilla Developer it has uh, various technologies HTML, CSS, JavaScript, Graphics, HTTP and all that kind of stuff this is the latest cutting edge and the most briefly described and in-depth guide about what you really need I think this is the one of the best of the best documentation that I have ever really seen so far right now and yeah and I really, really talked about how you can really download the uh, Udemy courses for free yeah so let's get over to it uh, there is one site called freecoursesite.com which I really love number one uh, it's up to you whether you really want to buy it or not some people have enough money they can, they can buy some people even can't afford um, 300 rupees or 10 dollars so it's really subject to matter in a, and a matter of your own ethics whether you really like to download it from torrent or not so here is all the thing which you will really get you know, and the most all popular Udemy courses will really be available on this site you really go out just type out any name that you want like uh, Traversy media and just get get to it I really yeah so see uh, you can just go on and these course are pure original uh, but the one drawback I have really seen that uh, to download this course you really need a high internet bandwidth I mean high internet speed uh, possibly if you have broadband high speed broadband at home then it would be great because at because this uh, course is really huge in size really sometimes it goes more than 10 GB uh, 15 GB and all that kind of stuff so uh, sometimes I think if you don't have high broadband connection especially uh, where I live if you are really working on the mobile then uh, buying course on the Udemy will really make sense for you so uh, I hope you like this video Make sure to share this video on every other platform and if you really have question, queries uh, and any suggestion just mention in the comment and I'm really happy to uh, answer back to you and still then stay connected and have a nice day.